Hey vloggy vlog. Okay, what's up? It's Cheyenne, the Lunar Priest, reporting live on Christmas Eve. I am going to make some, what are they? Like sprays, herbal sprays, yoga mat cleaner spray, and some oil blends. So I figured I'd bring you along, plus it's Christmas Eve, which means tomorrow is Christmas day. Also, the shelf is looking really cute. It's pretty cluttered right now because there's a lot of altar action going on and other stuff. But this is kind of like my favorite, not my favorite, but this is like the Cheyenne altar, I guess you could say, where I keep a lot of the stuff that's like particularly dear, I guess, to my own God self archetype. These chipmunk, um, they're sustainably package <laughs> they're sustainable okay this isn't like some weird crazy stuff i trust the source that i got this from but they're chipmunk paws how cute is that and then i have bones that i found myself coyote school from the indian store and then i have my like lakshmi altar as you know she used to be down there but then i changed it around i just missed her and plus i'm hosting a lakshmi thing on january 6th so that'll be exciting um but yeah there's my lakshmi altar there. Sam, aka the Manic Moon, just got me that beautiful pregnant goddess. So she's there. I have the Nine of Cups being held up by my Jasmine Oil and my Golden Aura Spray from Manifest Reiki Herbs, one of my favorite herbalists. And then I have a little Kali action going on over here. It was really crazy because Kali is the, like, one of my most worked with goddesses. And I... I was having kind of a rough time after we got home last night from Mexico. But we went to Rosarito, and I know I didn't even vlog it. And after I got home, there was just like, there's some tough stuff going on. And I just felt like this deck really wanted to have a word with me. And I really felt a strong call to do that. I felt a strong call to play with cards in general, but... Um, I got a new tea kettle um and I was looking at all the other decks and it was like okay none of them really want to talk to me so that one did and then I pulled and then I got Kaladara Kaladara and the Moksha of Kali so um I was like wow this is me like I just saw this reflection of myself in this aspect of Kali and then I was reading the description because I'd never gotten that card before and it literally said she's the Lunar Priestess. And the way that I got the name Lunar Priest is so insane. I'll definitely make a video about that if anyone wants to hear. But for Christmas, Malia gave me this mala. Um, and it's skulls, which is super cool because Callie wears a necklace of skulls. So yeah, I've been really into the mala because, I mean, I did the 40 days with Lakshmi and I also just have always liked the malas because I did a lot of kundalini and worked at a studio for a while. Um, anyway, it was just really interesting though because the two friends that I kind of brought into my last mala work, which was when I worked with Lakshmi, like I said, was when Sam and Malia came and stayed and they were chanting with me like every day and that inspired Sam to go and really get into her practice with Fortuna, which was super cool, which is a goddess. And, um, obviously Malia also started chanting so it was just really cool to kind of re-tune into chanting and then invite my friends in and then they start chanting and both of them happen to get me a mala for Christmas and I've always only worked with one mala which is my obsidian one check out this spell jar that Sam got me I love it um as she made it for me actually and this is my Morrigan altar. She's my babe. I made this dope candle for Ishtar and the Eight Gates, and I'm gonna light it when Venus goes out of retrograde. I opened all my like friend Christmas presents already. Malia got me this dope smoky quartz. I recently just got this new carnelian, and that one too, got two. I know the camera's not focusing very well. Um, but anyhow, oh my god, and Malia got me this full shed of a snake. So cool. And then I also got this snowflake obsidian silver ring in Rosarito, which was super cool. I just made some tea and I'm waiting for it to cool down because these types of cups really 
keep it hot for a while and later I'm gonna make some pie okay finally I need to get into the process of making this stuff so I'm gonna grab it all and set it on my desk and then I'll probably turn on my favorite which is sweet boys aka Garrett Watts and Andrew Sawicki's podcast watch that speaking of podcasts um, me and Malia are back on our podcast BS we're finally releasing our first episode of our podcast it's gonna all come out on this channel so if you're subscribed and have your notifications on you won't miss it quick interruption Malia got me the slider too and watch this Okay, I'm really excited because I am filling in my little bullet journal from Archer and Olive, which I love bullet journaling. I watch so many videos. I'm such a nerd for it. It's pretty cool. It's holographic. This was actually one of their Halloween ones. But I have Sarah Godestiner's yearly planner, and I really like that because there's tons of good stuff in it. But I needed one for my social media because... I want to stay on top of YouTube and I want to stay on top of Instagram and all that stuff so having a place to like put my ideas and hold myself accountable and also write scripts and things like that and keep all my astrology dates just like on paper I think will be more inspiring because it's a creative act in and of itself which my social media is as well.
Okay, I figured out how my little like month to month spreads are gonna go. So I have specials, post schedule, which will be tentative, a brain dump, astrology, and collabs. And then I have the Capricorn or astrology sign of the month. So I'm gonna have to do that for every single month but I'm gonna wait to go because maybe I'll find that something works better. So, so far I have all of my months behind the monthly overview and then my table of contents, little doodle, this vision. I saw this in a vision during hot yoga the other day and it was like a Lunar Priest logo idea. So I put it in here and then the 2022 and then of course my name. So I'm excited to fill that in and I'll keep you guys updated on if this works. Oh my God. Okay, I ended up getting sidetracked because Ray called me and you know, I got into that whole thing. But um, I think I showed you pretty much, you know, some of the highlight stuff. I don't know if I showed you this, but Kai got me kinetic sand and it's sparkly pink. Oh my God, that's so satisfying. Kai also got me a bunch of these colored naturally dyed beeswax um, sheets for me to make candles with. I'm gonna make some spell candles, so exciting. Also making mashed potatoes vegan. I put tons of spices on them, so good. And I'm gonna make this pumpkin pie too. Caboodle. It's looking real good. But I wanted to quickly show you guys the sun is like gone essentially, so I'm using normal light now. But I wanted to show you um, the stuff that I got. I got this shirt. Yep, it's really cute. I'm wearing it with also these pants that are flared and cropped. So that's that. I got all the stuff from Zara and Urban, which wow, fast fashion. But what can I say, you know, Black Friday had me, had me good. Um, most of these things, yeah, I either got Black Friday or today. Um, this thing's from Target. It's a bucket hat. This thing was on sale. It's just like a tiny um, mauve taupe color, I guess. Then I got this. It's like a heather gray, um, sort of cropped sweater, and it is so soft and warm. I got these pants. I have a pair that's like this texture, but they're more of a purple color, and th these are more like warm um, brown, and uh, I love Zara pants. They're like my favorite. Also just got like a basic uh, black tank top that's cropped, and then this baby tee. And I got this wrap, and it was on sale, obviously, but it's so pretty. It's kind of like a duster, kimono type of deal. I also got this dress from Target. It's like this floral, orange, yellow, black kind of vibe and it goes all the way down and it's kind of satiny or silky. Also got this and it says this ain't my first rodeo. It's <laughs> just like a cute t-shirt and I'll probably cut it a little bit. And then that, that t-shirt was from Nasty Go. From Urban I got two of these tops um it kind of has like a ruched vibe in the back and then in the front it has a two kind of like compartments if you will so there's a white one and this one that has daisies on it and normally i don't wear a lot of flowers but i thought that that could just be like kind of new and different from what i normally wear and then this is a similar style it's like a mustard yellow color and it just has like a plain back and yeah. Then I got this romper bodysuit thing and it's just all these different plaids. So I'm excited to take pictures in that too. Then I have this see-through moment <laughs> and the 
uh, what is it called? This like thing comes kind of to the side at a diagonal. So I thought that was kind of a cool collar, but I'll probably wear this to like a show or some sort of nighttime event with a bralette underneath it. Okay, I forgot I had some stuff from Nasty Gal, but I also have um, this, it's kind of like a wrap top thing. So these things you tie in the front and then in the back, it's like the stretchy material. And then I have this satiny, silky bodysuit and it's brown, also from Nasty Gal. Oh, and then I left this out. This was from Urban and it's just another like bandeau type of top and it's kind of like this, um, like raw cottony type of material. And then I have two things from Forever 21 that I ordered and one is just another brown bodysuit, but this one is ribbed. And then this white top has these like crochet flowers in them. And then Bath and Body Works was having their semi-annual sale. So I got that sweater weather scented candle and I'm already lit it and then I have two harvest gathering candles so my favorite from there is leaves but they don't have leaves right now they only have harvest gathering so I got two more of those and it's also a seasonal scent so now I'll have them at least to like I don't know however long it takes me to burn these but anyway so I hope you guys liked this video if you like this style of vlog lifestyle type of video just let me know because i don't know if i should keep doing this type of thing or only do the educational stuff but um until next time bye